students. Today we are going to explain a new lesson in Unit 2. The lesson is the radioactivity and nuclear energy. Actually, this is a very important field to be studied. And before knowing anything about the radioactivity and the nuclear energy, we have to know what is the structure of the nucleus, because the nucleus is the source of this uh, energy. So the structure of the atom, sorry. The structure of the atom, because inside the atom there is the nucleus, and the nucleus is the source of this kind of energy. Any atom, any atom consists of two main parts nucleus in the center and energy levels around the center. Number one, the nucleus, which is in, in the uh, center of the atom, it contains two different types of particles. The first type of particles are the protons. Protons have positive charge and its mass is heavy. Neutrons also. That's meaning we have two different types of particles inside the nucleus of the atom. The first one are the protons with a certain number and the neutrons with a certain number also. The charge of the protons pass the charge while the neutrons have no charge. Here in the center there is the nucleus which is containing these particles inside it. The nucleus is surrounded by energy levels as a place away from the nucleus and the particles supposed to rotate in these energy levels is called electrons, the third type. The electrons rotate around the nucleus in a specific energy uh, level uh, and these particles are called electrons the electric charge, negatively charged particles, most of the mass is concentrated in the nucleus because the nucleus is containing protons and the neutrons which are heavy, comparing to the mass of the electrons in the energy levels. That's meaning most of the mass from the structure of the atom is concentrated inside the uh, nucleus. This is why we can get the nuclear force from the nucleus. This is, I mean, protons and the neutrons need to bind together inside the nucleus to be stable. I mean, the atom. So there must be a kind of force called nuclear force. This force which bind neutrons and protons in the nucleus to overcome the repulsion force between protons and the nucleus. In more details, here the protons, their charge are positive. Beside it, another proton, beside it, positive. So there is a repulsion force between the two positive charges to be away from each other. So there must be a force to bind all of these constituents of the nucleus together and overcome this repulsion force together. This is called nuclear force. When the nucleus is being detonated and is bonded with a certain projectile, this nucleus will produce a huge amount of energy from this nuclear force and this energy will cool the nuclear uh, energy and this amount of energy is huge and don't forget that we can use it in different purposes who the first one discovered the radioactivity Henry Becquerel he is a French science named Henry Becquerel discovered that some nuclei of some element emit invisible radiations. Imagine 
of invisible radiation of some element. One of them, or the most famous one of them, is the uranium. These rays, which, which are emitted from uh, this element, I mean the uranium, has the ability, have the ability to penetrate the solid object. This phenomenon is called radioactivity. I have an element, this element, its nucleus, emit radiation, invisible, number two has the ability to penetrate the solid object. This phenomenon is called radioactivity. So, the meaning of the radioactivity is the spontaneous, this is spontaneous phenomenon where the nuclei of a certain element such as the uranium radiates or emits a different rays or particles trying to reach to the stability. Uh, the radioactive elements are doing that just because they are unstable and trying to escape. The stability will reach to the element after emitting these radiations or rays. Okay, like this. This is the radioactive element or radioactive atom in its nucleus. There is particles well produced from it and from it with a huge amount of uh, energy. So the radioactive element will be, this is the element that its nucleus contains the number of neutrons more than the number for stability. For the, for the nucleus of the atom to be stable, there must be a ratio between the total number of protons and the total number of neutrons. If the total number of neutrons increase to a certain limit, that's meaning that this nucleus is unstable. So, the unstability of the atom is happening due to increasing the number of neutrons that need to the stability. Radioactive occur either naturally or artificially. If it is natural radioactivity and or even artificial radioactivity, in the case of the natural radioactivity, that's meaning that this radiation from the nucleus of the radioactive element will take place naturally without interference of the human. Uh, okay, let's start with the nature. Uh, from the uh, most rocks in the Earth's crust, and there are many elements that represent the natural reactivity, such as the rubidium, selenium, yttrium, zirconium, strontium. These elements are naturally, naturally producing radiations or invisible radiation, while the artificial radioactivity can be produced in the nuclear reactor during the nuclear reaction inside the nuclear reactor reactors uh, to be used in different things such as the uh, nuclear uh, bomb and this radiation released during the nuclear reactions making them as a target and a fast projectile uh, is going to uh, turn the to release the energy inside it. This is, for example, the uranium. Uranium is an example for the radioactivity. Uh, one of the most famous Egyptian science is Ali Mustafa Musharrafa. He was against the use of the atomic energy in war and war against the uh, exploitations of science as means of destruction and he is very famous science in this field. Uh, we are using the radioactivity in different fields. One of them is to use of the nuclear energy. Number one, the medical use. Medical use in the libraries are treatment of some diseases such as cancer. Number two, in agricultural field. In kill, eliminate 
agricultural pests and the improvement for the plant. An industrial, an industrial field converting the sand into silicon sheets used in the manufacture of uh, computer process. Uh, it's very important to make computer process processors use in the electric appliances. Finally, the effects in the manufacture of uh, some industrial products. And then generating electricity and this is also important well. Because uh, inside the nuclear reactor we release the huge amount of energy. This huge amount of energy is heating the water to boil it. There is steam produced from the water which is entered into steam turbines that rotate and produce electricity. Also using the nuclear energy and the space exploration as a nuclear fuel, power rockets, also it is used in a drilling of petroleum oil and the underground water. The heart of the effect of the radioactivity. Number one, radioactivity has two sources, natural or artificial. Natural, the rocks of the Earth's crust. Or, which is coming from the outer space, from the cosmic radiation, coming from the outer space. The second one, which is the artificial and the nuclear bomb, exclusion of the nuclear bomb, or inside the nuclear reactors. And we have a very important example that uh, it was a disaster during this time, in 1986, Chernobyl nuclear reactor in the, uh, Russia exploded. Uh, from this explosion, huge amount of particles and waves are produced, which are carried by the wind, sent to the all European countries, and the weather rainfall it mixed with the radioactive elements, iodine, cesium, were deposited in the soil. The decay of the nuclear fuel uranium 235 during Chernobyl accident produced, which is called atomic dust, and the size of the dust from this explosion. Atomic dust fell on the soil by dry falling or by weathering on the surface of the earth. All the plant-eating animals, such as cows, sheep, feed on the polluted plants, and this radiation affects on the production of milk and meat. This is Chernobyl disaster and this during this time. What are the dangers of the dangers of uh, increasing the amount of doses or radiation? Small doses for a long time or big doses for a short time. First, exposure to a large dose of radiation for a short time. This is will cause a damage to the digestive system, spleen central nervous system and the bones. Bone marrow, digestive system, spleen, central nervous system and the bone marrow. Which, I mean the, the bone marrow bone, produces the blood cells. This reduces the number of the red blood cells, I mean in the uh, bone marrow. The person that infected by this disease becomes that has a, a sore throat, neosa, and fatigue and diarrhea. Many diseases will be caused if this person is exposed to large dose through a short time. What about small doses of radiation for a long time, months or years? There will be a physical change. 
I need change in the appearance. Appearance of the body from outside. Genetic change. And the genetic change is meaning change in the sex chromosome without skin abnormal birth. If there is a change in the sex chromosome, this is what produces abnormal birth. The last one is the cellular change. I mean changing in the structure of the cell. Structure of the cell, such as the change that happened in the structure of the hemoglobin found in the red blood cells. This will lose its ability to carry the uh, oxygen. I will make it, make it incapable for carrying the uh, oxygen. How can we protect ourselves from the radiation? Avoid exposure to radiation and the maximum dose of radiation is five severed daily, by the way, severed in the unit for measuring the uh, radiations and uh, we are supposed to exposed to not more than five severed daily. Number two, pills who has radioactive elements in the nuclear reactor hospitals should wear protective gloves, suits and masks like in the picture here. When storing radioactive waste, take the following precautions. Radioactive waste should be stored away from the underground water to prevent the pollution from the volcanoes, from the area of earthquakes. Radioactive waste stored away from lands, caves to prevent pollution of that from reaching to the animal. This is about the radioactive uh, element and radioactivity and I wish that everyone will understand this lesson. Thank you, my dear students.